Hello everybody! In today's video we will be covering the next three sections of the Greg Shorthand Manual, sections 29, 30, and 31. In this video we will be talking about more of the brief forms or short strokes that are used uh, to cover the common words to speed up the writing process. We will talk about general phrasing principles and then we will give a brief demonstration of the most, uh, some of the most common uh, brief forms that you will experience in your writing. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get into the notes. So we have these brief forms here. We have did, date, other, all, were, where, or aware, my, when, any, could, what, truth, time, into, come, like, little, those, and country. And they have a little note here at the bottom that W is omitted in the word were and WH in where, when, and what. Other is expressed by uth um, and all by aw uh, or the o hook, um, as we'll see later. So the uh, u hook and the o hook, um, time by the tm blend, into by blending in and to. And then for convenience, the long i is in my is expressed by a large circle. So let's go ahead and start writing these out. So make sure that I've got the correct version here. We need 29. All right. So hopefully you can see this writing. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me check here. So did date. And that is the DT blend. Good. You can't see that. Um, other is a uh, a uh, and um, in a previous video, um, someone left a comment uh, actually correcting um, the difference between a one and a, the word one and then on, I believe, or it was, was it, no, it was one and on, I think. But one uses the U hook and then an N and on. Oh, did I just undo that? I think I did. So that's, th this is the word one or one. And the uh, this uh, the O hook followed by an N is the word on. So anyway, I had made a mistake, and he very graciously corrected me, and I'm 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 thankful for that. But he made a comment about how it can be difficult to see the O's and the U's, and. Um, I was given that a little bit of thought because I remember that's, that I had the same uh, problem. And then uh, it occurred to me that you can think of it as uh, being each uh, hook is a different emotion associated with a sound. Okay. So if you see, if you see a happy face, or actually if we take, if we take a surprised face, right? A surprised happy face. This is the sound that the upper O hook makes. So you think take a, take that and cut it in half, and you have the O, oh, O, oh, and that is the O sound, the O group. O, oh, okay. So that's the O hook. Okay. And then the opposite is true. So if you have a grumpy face, eh, eh. Like the troll, right? Yeah. Then this is the sound. This is the U group. So you think that is associated with the sound uh, uh, right? Like you're not feeling well or something. Ugh, right? So uh, uh, that is the um, uh, the upside down, the unhappy face. So if it is turned down, unhappy face, it's the uh sound. If it is turned up, it's the oh sound okay so hopefully that helps you a little bit um if not i uh, certainly hope you had a good laugh as we uh and oh together so with that i'll go ahead and get back to drawing the rest of these okay so you see uh there and then all is the o group on its side were where or aware my ma when n ni could what is ought or actually this one is yeah it's ought so um 
Here in America, we generally will say what, and we would think of that as being, like if I were to do that phonetically, it would be what, uh, what, right? Well, in the Greg shorthand system, it's actually an aw sound, what, what. So you go turn up, right? Oh. And then truth is tr, time is the tm blend, into, into, and I just want to make one note about into. So you'll you will see if if you were paying attention to the uh, copy work videos, you'll see that when um in the earlier ones I've I've corrected it now. But when I come to a word that is unto unto, I generally will use this stroke where it's into. I thought might as well use it. Well, I checked the 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 dictionary, uh, the Greg dictionary that's associated with the anniversary edition, and they treat unto and into as being different. So unto is actually a straight stroke in followed by the to unto. Okay, so if you need to differentiate between these, make sure unto has it has an angle into is a smooth continuous stroke come is k -m. like la little is lit those is the s and country is c t and we could make that just a little bit bigger and you'll notice that my my forms are not the exact same as the book. Uh, do you, you try to use the book as your model as much as you can? It's an it's an excellent set of strokes to emulate. Um, but in the long in, in the uh, in the long run, what you're interested in doing is developing a style that is consistent. So you your long strokes are are easily differentiated from the short strokes. The extremely long strokes like did uh, like the um, what is it combined consonants um, uh, like did or debt those strokes uh, should be differentiated from just a, a single D and then a T so be able to uh, create your own uh, sense of differentiation of stroke length but don't don't be too concerned if you have some variability in your stroke style okay so these are the brief forms in Greg and moving on to our next uh, section section 31 we are covering the general phrasing principles. So the following suggestions will be helpful to an understanding of the general principles of phrasing. Short and common words only should be joined. So if brief forms are very good, um, uh, su such as of the, in the, etc. So don't don't make your phrasing too complex. Don't go whole hog, as they say, into into the uh, um, phrasing. So. Words like endeavor and qualify and uh, um, oh, what is what is DNA? I'm forgetting it. How to say it? Dionucleic acid or what is it? Uh, anyway, it's, it's way too long of a word. Um, but words like that should not be phrased together. Okay, the words should make good sense if standing alone, as it will be. So if it's a phrase that that is generally in use, you you already think of it as being a true phrase, then uh, those words work together very well. Pronouns generally are joined to the words they precede as I can, you can, you, uh, you are, I would. A qualifying word is, is usually joined to the word it qualifies as good man. The words to, of, in, with, and are generally are joined to the word following as to the of which, in that, with that, and will. Words that do not make an easily joined distinctive joining should not be phrased. Now, this last one, this section six, words that do not make an easily written distinctive joining, you will have to be the judge of what is distinctive and what is easily written. So if it is a phrase, let's say you're in a math class or psychology class or something, and there's a phrase or a, a grouping of words that is always used, and you know what it means, you would know in your notes what uh, is meant by that particular phrasing, go ahead, make that um, 
make that phrasing common throughout. It will speed up your work. Maybe in, in the ledger at the top of the page, just say, hey, oh, you know, this stroke means that. So that that's all useful. Create a key for yourself, um, s similar to like, you know, how you spell out a word at the beginning. Uh, and then you in, in parentheses, you would put the um, the acronym, right? So uh, well, like the American National uh, Standards, Standards Institute, I think, um, ANSI. So um, words like that, uh, you can just create a little key for yourself, it'll help you. All right, um, so that covers our general um, our general principles. Uh, my my advice, especially if you're just starting out with Greg, is don't don't focus too much on phrasing. Definitely think about it and see if it would be possible to phrase words, but don't jump into it too quickly. Uh, it will actually it will come back to haunt you as you try to understand what you wrote. Um, uh, it, it will actually be more difficult in the long run. So um, hold it, hold the concept up there because it is a very important concept, but uh, don't invest too much time in it just um, up front. Invest more time in memorizing the brief forms. Okay, so here are the phrasing drills. So let's go ahead and pull that document up and let's start working through that set. So that is 31. I believe that's here. Let's see if that's correct. Nope, that one is the one already filled out. Uh, there we go. Nope, that's still the wrong one. Uh, remember, folks, don't name your files the same. You know, they're in different locations, but uh, let's see, is this it? No. Well, which one? Well, that's odd. Hold on, let's see here. Oh, are they both filled out? No, nope, one of them isn't. All right, hold on, let me close this one. And then I'll try and open it, and it will appear with the correct version. And it did, good. All right. Welcome back. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and start writing these out. So, of the to the it is one quick note about it is notice the s so is uh, is his it can be his or is right and it's generally this is generally associated with the curve that goes in that direction goes in the right hand direction is his and then the other one i believe is um i can't think of the it's, it's later in chapter two. Hold on, let me... It's, it's going to keep on bugging me. Uh, it's just in the next chapter, so let's see here. Um, oh, okay. So it's only... I see, I see. So S, unlike TH, so it, it, if you remember when we were going through our brief forms for TH, we have a particular form uh, for... Hold on, let me pull up those notes. There they are. So... You remember that this up uh, on um, the uh, um, the left hand version, the left hand stroke is uh, the word the. And if it is a right hand stroke, actually, no, that's backwards. If it is a left hand stroke, so it curves up, then it is there, there. So there, there. If it curves forward, it is the V, okay? So S is not like that. S can be either direction, depending on the way it needs to be written. And, that, and we'll cover that in our next video, um, or maybe not the next video, but in, in a subsequent video, where S, uh, the, the, the curve of the S is dependent on the stroke that precedes it or that, uh, that uh, follows it. Okay. So in this case, it is. You see that the stroke is using a left hand. It's a left hand stroke. I am. Is there a next phrase? A uh, m. Mm, to you. To u. And the. That the. Now, 
Notice with the and the, actually, that should be a little bit, that almost makes a, an O hook at the, or a U hook at the top. So it should be more like that. Now you'll, you'll see in my videos that very often I uh, will interpret and the as being like that. I put a, a slight curve in there. I like to differentiate between the two. Um, but if you want to just do this more gradual uh, uh, slope, go ahead. This is the form that the book has. This is the form that I have, okay? That the, uh, by the, by the, you can, is, you can, at the, at the, that's actually, that's not an at, it's just this, right? at the, because it's it at, yes, will be, is, will be, of you, it was, he was, and by extension, this would also be, I was, I was, and then is the, is the. Let's make that just a little bit. There we go. All right. So those are the phrases for uh, Greg Shorthand. These are some of the most common phrases. Um, uh, and then, of course, there are there are variations such as he he, uh, he will um, to him. Um, yeah, lots of uh, lots of phrases. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. But like I said, really just focus on phrasing only the most simple words uh, possible. Um, don't don't get too fancy and don't waste too much time on the phrasing. So simple words only. All right. This has been sections 29 through 31 of Greg Shorthand, the Greg Shorthand um, Anniversary Manual. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, and if you if you know of the nickname for people who use shorthand, you know, everyone's got a nickname, right? Everyone's got a tribe name. Then uh, definitely share that in the comments because it'd be fun to have, to be able to say, uh, see y'all, see all you. I, I could call y'all phonies, but, or phonies or shorties, but both of those are derogatory. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, yeah, just share share uh, the name for shorthand uh, users in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, then uh, consider giving it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel um, where I post a lot more of the uh, shorthand content. Um, and yeah, just happy to have you uh, get involved with uh, learning this great system of writing. All right. Bye-bye.